Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, let's talk about this report, this article from news.bitcoin.com. Let's talk about NVIDIA's light hash rate tech to stop crypto miners was pointless. So the LHR is the light hash rate that NVIDIA introduced basically because they wanted to get the GPUs in the hands of gamers. I was new to this back in September, had no idea what LHR meant. I quickly learned that it basically produced less hash rate, say mining Ethereum. I said, okay, why would they do that? You know, that just seemed like a stupid thing. Well, let's go, let's go through this article. We'll figure out what's going on. Uh, it's bizarre. Bizarre strategy from a company. And I own stock in a company, albeit I'm down 30%. So not a good move on my part buying it. Anyway, let's go. In mid-May 2021, NVIDIA revealed that it added a hash rate limiter to curb the use of cryptocurrency mining with its graphics processing units, GPUs. However, crypto miners now say the move was pointless and the mining organization NiceHash details that the hash rate limiter scheme introduced by NVIDIA did not discourage miners at all. No, man, people are buying cards they get their hands on. And also with the um, crypto software out there, the mining software like NB Miner, T-Rex Miner, they had auto-tune on LHR. You could set the LHR, you know, to a crack it or break it, you know, at 74% and getting better. So I'll say on a 3080 Ti LHR card, from going from 60 mega hash up to 90, just by using the software and overclocking it, yeah, not too bad. They are pricey cards, but people are still using LH cards to mine. All right, let's go on. Let's go on. Okay, here they say it again. The uh, NVIDIA hash rate limiter, LHR, didn't stop crypto miners from using their products. So they they hate crypto miners, which is funny to me. I always started to joke about that recently. Like, why would NVIDIA hate a customer base that's going to give them money hand over fist. Like crypto miners buy one to many cards. Gamers buy one or two cards, right? It makes no business sense to me at all. It's just bizarre philosophy. Someone in the head of the company is being fed bad intel and it's just messing up their bottom line because they could make a specific crypto mining card and it would do really, really well. And I think the 3080 non LHR card that is out there is the one people want. They're paying top dollar for it because you get like 110, 110 mega hash mining ETH on that card. But let's stop making those cards. Really dumb idea. I mean, I don't know, man. All right, let's go through it. Uh, let's see, they manufactured these LHR cards. Uh, they attempted to stop crypto miners from leveraging, leveraging its GPU to mine digital assets. They applied the LHR, the three specific G GPU products. Uh, and they said the, co uh, the company said the motivation was to get its cards back into the hands of gamers, as I mentioned. That's just stupid. Customer's a customer, right? Come on. Eight months later, report says the LHR tech did very little to stop crypto miners from utilizing these specific NVIDIA devices. Uh, nice hash told them the LHR did not discourage miners at all. Uh, Let's see what else. LHR Tech did not stop him from purchasing the GPUs and using them for crypto mining. And then he goes on this miner says, yes, I feel LHR was pointless. I didn't even know about it and I still bought the cards because I just wanted to get into mining. And uh, most of those LHR cards were the only things available at jacked up prices. So I'm an idiot, I did buy some, but will I get my ROI? I don't know, but that's the price you pay. Hindsight now, I probably should have just taken the money and bought the crypto directly instead of buying mining equipment. But it's all what you want. You want to mine it as a hobby and experience it, or do you just want to invest it dollar cost average in? That is the debate that I have to wrestle with every day. Every day I look at this equipment and I'm burning electricity and the markets are down. Should I have just taken that money and dollar cost averaged in? Albeit, I would be down. <laughs> so it's... You know, six, one, half a dozen, another, whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, who knows? Who knows? 
Oh, let's see. LHR-based GPU miners sold at the same rates. Ethereum hash rate coasting along at record highs. All right. Uh, let's see. And here's NVIDIA. They admitted that it made 155 million smackaroos from crypto mining GPUs at the time. See, they still made money. Even though they hate crypto miners, they made money off crypto miners. So doesn't that tell you if you're in the business development group of NVIDIA that, hey, maybe we should make a card directed for GPU crypto miners and make a billion dollars. Now, let's try to block out that segment of the customer base. Really stupid idea. Oh my God. So maybe Intel is going to come out and kick their butts. AMD should turn it up a bit more. Just, I don't know. I'm an NVIDIA stock where I'm a little irked by reading this. Anyway, uh, let's see. He's This guy says he owns 30 LHR, 3060s. And he bought them because everyone was flipping them. Yeah, because you can get these things using retail bots for MSRP or less and then flip them for 400 bucks more. Boom. Instant profit. You know, you don't use them for mine. You just flip them, get them, sell them, sell them to a, um, a middleman or sell them on eBay. Mostly a middleman will buy them from you. Then they'll resell them back to Amazon. It's an interesting cycle. You get a retail bot. You, you learn how to use it. Then you get these uh, GPUs through the bot and then you get them at MSRP or less, you get them shipped to you, boom, you sell them to a middleman who gives you a couple hundred bucks over what you paid. He sells them right back to Amazon. It's funny. It's a funny, like a uh, cycle of life, if you will, because some of these middlemen will show the Amazon Mac trucks backing up to pick up the GPUs that you ship to them to get 200 bucks or so over, over what you paid for them. That's how it works, guys. It's the market, supply demand. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, he said that the LHR tech did not make the price of the GPUs cheaper. No, it made them, everything was jacked up. Everything, you know, you guys know if you're looking for GPUs from last, uh, end of last year or any time last year up till now, it's ridiculous. But with the crash, the correction now, maybe things will drop in a week or two. Just keep your eyeballs on eBay and on Newegg and maybe Amazon. And just uh, start men mentally remembering the prices and see if they start dropping. I'm seeing 6600 XTs. They're getting down closer to 500 now, rarely, but you'll see one or two pop up on Newegg. Amazon still has jacked up prices, but oh well, that's Amazon. They got to put a guy in space, right? All right, let's go. Uh, do not discourage people from using these devices to mine digital assets. Many people, miners and scalpers, still were buying cards at the same rates as before. Yeah, LHR didn't stop it. It just was a hurdle. And then, like I said, the mining software guys quickly figured out how to get around most of the LHR and uh, give you more of that yummy, yummy hash rate on Ethereum. So let's see, until Ethereum transitions from a proof of work where you mine, right, proof of work, chain to a full proof of stake until it transitions to the proof of stake, it seems miners will leverage any device they can use to uh, rake in profits. Heck yeah, we even have a guy using his Tesla the, the computer on that thing to mine uh, to mine crypto. It's redonkulous. It's crazy. Uh, I think if NVIDIA's LHR products are still mineable on ETH, they'll likely be used for such purposes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, people are going to use what they get their hands on. And these big farms out there, uh, like the big server farms in these buildings, uh, they're buying any card they can. All right, so there you go. The LHR truth. NVIDIA hates crypto miners, and they did everything they could putting in uh, that light hash rate trying to stop crypto mining just so the little gamer guys could get their gaming GPUs. All right, that is all I got. What do you guys think? What are you going to buy right now? I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not buying any GPUs. I'm sitting tight to see which way the winds blow on this market and on mining. Everything seems to be down by half. I'm just going to hold and keep mining, keep mining. And uh, yeah, that's it. And if electricity uh, costs become too high, I might kick in that T-Rex miner low, uh, LHR low power mode on some of my cars and it you know drops the watt usage down by 20% or so and drops the hash rate down a bit too but you're burning less power so that's an option too. go into super efficient mode all right let me know what you guys are up to that is all I have I will talk to y'all later all right take care I'm out boom blammo blammo blammo